What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to Final Fantasy VI Eternal Crystals. Alright, let's do some exploring, shall we? See if there's anything different in these uh, places. In this place. I didn't do this in the, uh, in play when I played original, the original game, but yeah, you can get some treasure and stuff here. Um, yeah. It's got an ether, I guess that's what they uh, call it, tinctures in this game. Yeah. Alright, cool. Stuff. Yeah, here's a enemy that I don't care about. Yeah, Locke has the throw ability. Cool. Making him way more useful than, uh, in, uh, than the original. So that's really cool. I figure I may as well steal from him, see what he has. Doesn't really have anything great or whatever. There we go. Take him down. Easy enough. Alright. And yeah, this is just some tutorial house, you know. Nothing too special. Alright, cool. I'm just gonna get the treasure here. I'm not gonna talk to everybody. Since, you know, you pretty much saw a walkthrough slash LP of uh, the original, so why even bother, right? I don't think anyone in here really does anything, say anything different at all. Let's see. Yeah, no. Nah. Oh. Dark Sword. Hmm. Dark Sword. We're gonna get a player that uses Dark Sword? Okay. That's that's different, I guess. Alright. Cool. It's the sword tech, yeah. They kinda of give that away. Whatever though. Anyways. Set the figure out, why not? You put a block in front there. And fight oh needlers instead of leafers in this game. Alright, cool. Take them down with fire. Kill with fire. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Good stuff. I'm not gonna worry about um Levels or anything. I'm not gonna, I mean, this is gonna be a lot more for of a late black of, of, of a late pack playthrough than the original, really, for sure. Because I'm not. I don't really care about you know beating this game within ten minutes, ten hours, or twelve hours, or whatever. And we get now this fight. This, these guys can still use. Uh, they can still inflict stop on you, which gives me. Bad memories of this game from back in the day when I first bought it. I remember trying to level up just Tina by herself, and uh, it did not work out when I first bought this game. So, okay, cool. Apparently, they know us here. Nice. So this is Figaro Castle. Nothing really changed here. Check out the shops as usual. Treasure, gold needle instead of soft. That right, makes sense now. Cool. Uh, in the beginning of the game, I'm gonna be using sleeping bags more than tents because, well, you know, Tina's the only one who has magic points right now. And no one else really will have any more magic points either. So, yeah. get a potion, get an antidote, same thing. Dragon stone. What? None of Edgar's tools here like they did. Okay. I have a feeling we're gonna see some. Okay then. Apparently, Edgar has become a dragoon. That makes sense, I suppose. Look, it's Kane! He is Kane! Huh! <laughs> That's awesome! That is cool, he still does the middle finger thing. Last of the Dragoons, cool. But it's definitely not Edgar in this game, I'm gonna rename him. He's Kane. Yeah. That's just who he is. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Huh, cool. Awesome. I like that. That's a, that's a nice touch. 
And it makes sense too because in the original Final Fantasy VI, he was able to use uh, spears. So you know, yeah. Anyways, all right. It's a return to Archer's voice. I gotta do it. And yeah, who else but the ladies' guy, Kane? Right. All right. So here we go. I see a lot of crisis in my life. I sense something big is happening. I also sense you to be a major force. I wish I could just make sense of it all. Is that botch the, uh, whatever it is, the dialogue? <laughs> Being a king for so long has tarnished my dragoon senses. What? What? Yeah, I didn't understand that either. Spoken tongues in that little dialogue exchange there. Anyways, we we'll get to explore Figaro now. Cool. Huh. Haha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, they are, apparently. All the soldiers say pretty much the same thing. I don't need a rest at the moment. Talk to the chicks, though. Huh. Okay. Not really. I guess I don't really groom to be a womanizer in this in this game as much as in uh, the original. I suppose it makes sense. It's funny in the original he didn't really you know hook up with any chicks. It just kind of it's just kind of like here. This is Edgar. He's a player, but not really. Ah. Saban's intro, yeah. He looks the same, cool. Alright, um... Bo Dallas as Saban. But he actually... And Chris Saban doesn't really have a voice. I, want, I, want, I would do that, but I don't know, man. No, we'll do Bo Dallas as, as Saban here. Uh, ooh. Brother! What's wrong with father? What's all this talk of his successor? Are you blind? Look how fa that his face has become. I don't want to be king. I want to keep fighting as Dragoon of Figaro. What is it? Brother! Can't we do uh, Bo Dallas's high-pitched voice with tears? He doesn't believe! Nah. Oh uh, yeah, I guess that, that is the Japanese version of Saban, but no, it's Saban, it's not Mash, okay? To hell with Mash. Saban was a much better name. Probably because then I started watching Chris Saban in TNA Wrestling, and I'm like, oh my god, cool, his name is Saban. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what the Matron says here, isn't it? Oh, well, I guess uh, still. I guess he's still portrayed as a womanizer or wannabe womanizer, womanizer in progress, whatever. I don't know. Is what it is. Anyway, so now that that's over, now we can talk to Kane again. Yeah, I'm gonna probably alternate between calling him Edgar and Kane in this game, but whatever. I'm gonna go for some length on today's episode too, since I'm not gonna record tomorrow. I'm gonna be out of the house virtually all day tomorrow, so. Well, how do you like my castle? Probably Kefka. Huh? It's Kefka. Shit! Emperor Zemus' stupid order. Damn these sand dunes! Even chocobos will wither out here. Wither away out here. <clears throat> there is sand on my boots. <laughs> oh man! Idiot! Out of my way! That sounds more like Batman than anything else. 
I can't really do Heath Ledger. I'll try, but whatever. Hey, let's see what the cane has. Ah, he comes with a Mithril Spear. Cool. And leather stuff, apparently. Eh. So they give him, like, piss poor stuff here. So. I thought we were allies. What are you doing in my domain? Been busy down south looking for more saves to destroy. What brings Kefka, a humble servant of Emperor Zemus, to our, into our lowly presence? A girl of no importance recently escaped from us. We heard she found refuge here. Hmm. This wouldn't have anything to do with this witch everyone's been whispering about, would it? Lies! She merely stole something of minor value. Is she here? That's a tough one. You see, there are more girls here than grains of sand out there. I can't keep track of them all. I'd hate to be you if we find out you're lying. <laughs> I truly hope nothing happens to your precious Pharaoh. Alright, let's go talk to Locke. I'd say that guy's missing a few buttons. Where's Tina? Take her to her room. I'd love to chat with you, but the Chancellor and I must plan our strategy. Sometimes I hate being a king, if you'll excuse me. Follow me. Alright. So follow Locke to our room. And Locke gives him the little lecture about uh, being part of the returners. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is a repeat, but it'll be it'll be fun to see some of the changes, even if they are very minor. Truth be told, I haven't played through half of this already, and it does play like the original, but there are a lot of changes that are going to be really cool. Don't worry about a thing, I'll... Yeah. That's Treasure Hunter! On the surface, it became pretense to support the Empire. The truth is, he's collaborating with the Returners, an organization opposed to the Empire. I'm his contact with that group. The old man you met in Narsh is one of us. Yeah, she's, like, working for them. That's not true, they were using you. Things are different now. Um, yo, like, alright, whatever. <laughs> I can't tell you what to do. You don't have to decide right now, you'll, you'll soon see. You'll soon find your way. Okay. Whatever that's supposed to mean. <laughs> Anyways. It's good to get something. Alright, so we're gonna happen here. Hmm? What the? So weird. <laughs> What's cool? Oh, jeez. Yeesh. The roof. The roof. The roof is on fire. No, I'm not here. What's happening? What are you doing? Bring me the girl, now! I don't know what you're talking about. Then, we're in hell! <laughs> Get ready. Changed your mind? I guess I have no choice. Or maybe I do. Shit! Shameful that King should flee, leaving his people behind. How utterly delightful! Alright. Engineer! Enable the Earth Crystal Tech! Yahoo! Block says. The Earth Crystal Tech? What the hell? Okay, could have just said dive now, would have 
hidden the fact that they have the earth crystal or whatever the hell. It's gonna be weird and fun and whatever to see that kind of stuff. The change in dialogue. How they go from explaining about Magitek and stuff to crystals. It's gonna be cool though. I, can't, I can't, really can't wait to see that. Go! Get them! Uh oh, we're gonna fight Magitek now. And here's something I didn't uh, include in the uh, quasi speed run, okay? Use magic on these guys, and oh yeah, yeah, I guess Kane can jump, which is cool. And you get a little dialogue thing here. Look at this. <laughs> Kane, what's the matter? You look positively spooked. Did, did you see what I just saw? Yeah, this game seems loaded for bear. She's amazing. That was magic. M A G I C. M -m 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 magic? She used magic? Is so it whispering each other? Tina, that's Tina. Where on earth did you learn that? She just kind of has it. It's, look, I didn't mean to make such a big deal of this. Me either. It's just that I've never actually seen magic before. Where did you... Okay, Tina can use magic and we can't. It's the only difference between us. The fact is we could use her help. Here we go. As she winks at both of them, and they both, like, go like, yeah. Awkward. <laughs> Stop swooning. Hell, I never got, I never got that, but whatever. Anyways, this fight should end pretty quickly. Nice crit lock, damn. Turned down for Final Fantasy, apparently. Take him down, good stuff. Easy enough. Two high potions, just like usual. Bravo Figaro! Later days, Kefka. Son of a Submariner! They'll pay for this! No, it's not son of a bitch, it's son of a Submariner. That, that's never gonna change. This is great! Bad person, you put that freaking slave crown on you. Tina, you know, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Remember to see the Returners. Our mentor, Bannon, would certainly like to meet you. They call him an expert on the Four Crystals. Crystal. Tina's magical powers. That Esper seemed to react to her. Can there be some connection? Oh, jeez. But no human is born with the powers you seem to have, and... You'll find out later that that's a lie. Well, actually, well, yeah. No one's born with it, but, you know... Come on. I apologize. I'm sure the Empire's gonna come after you. They get your hands hands on you again. The world's finished. Tina, you want to understand your own powers, right? Then I think we need to consult with Bannon. Please. Okay. To the south, there's a cave that leads to South Figaro. And that's where we're gonna go. Just straight south of here. You can go back to Norse if you want. Um, Figaro Castle is off limits now. So don't even worry about that. But there you go. I'm gonna go ahead and save here, and we'll explore this cave and head to South Figaro next time on Final Fantasy VI: The Eternal Crystals. This is the Big Jew telling you to keep being awesome. Peace.